Hi everyone, it's Nami Kanayika from gospelthrougharts.com. It's a beautiful Tuesday. I'm excited to speak about the Word of God with you. Today the Word is taken from Ephesians chapter 5 verses 10 onwards. It says, Wake up sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Be careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Lord Jesus is asking you and me to wake up from sleeping, from resting, from uh, from being comfortable. He wants us to be awake. He wants to be aware or that the days are evil, that the time is short and to make most of every opportunity. Most of the time we get pleasant, we get comfortable, we get um, so uh, used to our life, our daily lives and we can fall asleep. I know that uh, when uh, we are going through life, everything's going well and uh, we are in uphill. Most of the time we get so comfortable that we fall asleep. But the Lord Jesus is asking us to wake up, to be awake, to be alert. Because the enemy is roaring like a lion. The enemy is sending darts and we need to stand still, stand firm, stay on our guard and to be aware of what's happening. So even Jesus Christ was telling his disciples he was on the way to, to the cross and he was in the garden of Gethsemane and he was praying. And Jesus wanted his favorite disciples to be up with him, praying with him. But we can see very soon they were tired and they fell asleep. And Jesus wake them up and say, can't you even wake up for a few few minutes to pray with me you and i we sometimes get so complacent and so comfortable and we forget that we have to be alert that we have to be praying that we have to be aware of what the situations are around time is really short we need to make every opportunity so whenever i i feel um down or whenever i feel that complacent and I don't want to do anything I just feel comfortable I speak to myself I speak to my soul to wake up to not to get complacent or not to get comfortable but to be aware that time is short the enemy is um, enemy is waiting to send arrows but we need to be alert Jesus knew that his time was close and he was going to go to the cross enemy has plotted this great plan for the plan for Jesus but the enemy was defeated because Jesus was up Jesus was praying and he was praying to Jesus he was Jesus was praying to his God the Father and he got the strength that he needed to endure the cross you and I we will get the strength and the courage and the confidence that we need when we depend on God when we pray to him Commit everything to Him. He is faithful. I want to give you a testimony. Yesterday I was telling you about that in the morning. I was so worried because I had a uh, meeting at school that I was attending for my two sons. And it all went well. I was glad that I was up and wake up. And I would pray continually, crying to God for a resolution, resolution, favor. And God changed their hearts. Usually at a meeting, they always give me the options and say, we want to put the children in special ed, not to keep in this regular school. We have no um, support or all these things they would say. But yesterday, the meeting was turned over. Something changed. The atmosphere changed. I knew that Jesus was seated at the table interceding for me, letting his way happen. He is faithful, my brother and sister. So be alert. Know that the time is very short. It says, wake up sleeper. Rise from the dead and Christ will shine on you. The Lord Jesus will shine on you and me if we rise up to the occasion. And be very careful then how you live. We have to know how we live to be careful of how we live. Because sin creeps in without us even knowing. And do not be unwise, but be wise, making the most of every opportunity as the days are evil. We need to be wise. 
we need to ask the Lord Jesus for wisdom and guidance so that he will give us the wisdom from above to help us make the right decisions. God is so faithful. Let's pray today. Father, we come to you. God, many times we get comfortable. We want to sleep. We want to get complacent. We want to settle in. But Lord, help us to stand firm. Help us to be like soldiers wearing our full armor and stand firm. Stand on our God. Stand firm. Praying frequently. Praying daily. Praying every moment of our life. Committing everything to you and to be standing still and see the deliverance you have for us. We love you. We honor you. We praise you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope this blessed you as much as it blessed me. I want to sing a beautiful old chorus. I know many of you know it's called Stand Up. Stand Up for Jesus. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Ye soldiers of the cross. You and I, we are soldiers. Lift high his royal banner. It must not suffer loss. From victory unto victory, his army he shall lead. Till every foe is vanquished, and Christ is Lord indeed. Stand up, stand up for Jesus, the trumpet call obey. For to the mighty conflict, in this his glorious day. Ye are the men now serve him against unnumbered foes. Let courage rise with danger and strength and strength to oppose. I hope that you and I will stand firm and let's be awake and alert because the time is short and make use of every opportunity to tell about others about Jesus to others, to let the gospel shine every moment of your life. And may God be glorified in our life, in everything we do and say. Have a wonderful day, everyone. God bless you. Share this message with your friends and your loved ones and encourage one another. Stand up and be alert because the time is short and make use of every opportunity today. God bless you. Bye.